Hey guys, I was out changing the water for our chickens today, so I thought I'd do a real quick video to show you how I made my chicken water. Um, I made this out of despise of these things. I got tired of filling these up every other day and cleaning them because the chickens just trash them all the time. So we're in Missouri. It's, it's hotter than two hex out here. And so the chickens are going through quite a bit of water. So if, if it's hot, you got a lot of birds, this thing's gonna last a day, maybe two at the most, um, versus you can see the size difference here. Um, so don't get me wrong, these do serve a purpose if you're raising chicks or you got chickens in a brooder. Um, these are excellent because of the baseline. It prevents your chicks from falling in and drowning. But if you've ever tried to change water in one of these, it's kind of cumbersome. You gotta twist the top, stand it upside down, fill it up, and then comes the, uh, the circus act of trying to juggle this and uh, get your teeth lined up and get this twisted back into place and turn it upside down before you spill everything. So I don't like that. Um, I like simplicity. I like uh, being able to do things one time and then not have to worry about it for two or three days. So that's where I came up with this. So don't get me wrong, these are good. These are great for chicks, but once your birds get bigger or your flock gets bigger, you gotta change to something else. So here's what I came up with. So essentially you just need three pieces. You need a five gallon bucket. You need a five gallon bucket lid. And then you need something for your base. This was an old bowl I think we had out for our dogs. I found it at Orsland's or Tractor Supply, something like that. Um, but that's kind of one of the critical pieces to this. So if you'll notice when I set these side by side, look at the height difference. Um, so you need something with some depth. Here's a uh, Sharpie pin just to kind of give you a reference. It's about four and a half, maybe five inches deep. Uh, but here's what you do. After you find your base, after you find your bucket, and after you find your lid, snap your lid onto your bucket. Make sure it pops into place. Turn your bucket upside down and set it in your base. I have this Sharpie because you'll lay a pin on the top of your bowl here and draw a line. So you can see I've already got a line drawn right there. Here's why that line is so important because you're gonna have to drill a hole. And when you drill that hole, I've already got one drilled right here, I'm pointing to it. That hole has to be below this black line. If you drill above it, obviously that's above the water line, all your water is gonna spill out. So mark your line, drill your hole below that line, and you're done. So let's fill it up and see how it works. All right, so I filled our bucket up. If you remember, I drew a line. There should be a black line right in here somewhere. The hole is directly above that. So if you look, when I tilt this just a little bit, water comes out, right? So I've got the water filled up to the top. Snap your lid on. Make sure it snaps into place. And all you gotta do is flip it over and set it in. I'll try to show you here. You can see the water kind of bubbling out of there. It will slowly fill until it hits that bubble. And then once it hits that bubble, it'll stabilize. And you've got an automatic waterer for about mm, 15 bucks that holds two to three times the capacity of most of the normal waters that you can get at the feed store. And you can make it with stuff you probably already got laying around the place. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.